coming up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Jorge Gamebred Now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru. The Nigerian Nightmare, Usman! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Nice. Play from Paul 
Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamaru Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best walkthrough in the world, he may just be the toughest walkthrough in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. That's a good right hand right there. And the fighters engage in the clinch here right out of the shoot. All right, so there's the early time. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Usman's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Close guard. Under three minutes remain in round one. Usman's got the full mount. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. 26 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Ooh, head kick lands, he hurts. Oh, nice punch there by Gamebridge. And they separate. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so again, we find ourselves now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase submission. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Gamebrick. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Usman. Lands with the ground and pound here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes deep on belly. He's postured up. He's landed big ground pound. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's gonna get stopped. Left hand punch from the play. Oh, elbow to the head in the clinch. That one landed flush by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fight. Hey, have a seat, have a seat. Hey, continue doing what you're doing. That single leg is there, the double leg is there. 
take them down, what you've been doing. Keep... Round two now. Kamaru Usman and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Usman gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Trying to double up on that jab. And there comes... Oh! What a fantastic fight to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive rest. That one appeared to stun him. Side control now. Usman's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now who's been really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You got to hip escape. You got to do something to get you out of harm's way. You have to move. You have to be doing something. This one's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. He knows how to control the hip. He doesn't give you any out when he's on top of it. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Under two minutes now to go. Nice hammer fist. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, side control now. Relentless pressure from the top by Usman. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice knees by a man. He does not discriminate. He is throwing to all parts of the target tonight. They talk about using all your weapons tonight. He is using those knees to slow down. That is how you scramble, folks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, that 
straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Ooh, big shot, man. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Big ball from Clutch Land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees as the elbows come now. Game Bread gets the tie clinch here. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Bushman gets in the clinch. Big leg kick lands. And they separate. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! I see the collar tie now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage. Who? And he gets it. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. Masvidal's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's going for the choke. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. Nicely done. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Good work from the top here by Usman. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Game Break. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. So look at the numbers. Just under 200 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And a pretty efficient effort thus far. 62% accuracy on the strikes against Jorge Masvidal. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Take that man. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing so fast, so crisp. 
All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Make sure he stays high. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Got to be careful, on bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, that's going to do it in a quick tap from there as yeah, he gets it done it. by the submission. he got the arm straight, he got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. Jorge must be done! Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight. As Dominic Cruz said, when you became the double champ, he got it done. Not many people expected him to win. Those three guys that walked to the octagon with him were sure that he would win this fight.